Hello everybody. Welcome to my channel and welcome to this weapon chat. It's Sunday the 8th of September. Um, today I've moved my crafting corner from the kitchen into the bedroom and <clears throat> I want to show you a little bit. This is how a, a small part of my new table uh, looks like. So this is the diamond painting, the Aria Star that I'm working on. And the cable for my audio recording. <clears throat> and I got some of my diamond painting, no, my diamond art club here to my left. So I'm going to zoom you in. To the space where I'm gonna be working on this evening and um, my goal was to finish this section uh, <clears throat> this weekend because then I'm like halfway with this big big diamond painting but um, I don't think I need a pen. I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it because I made that move. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Let's see. I need some wax. So I've put all my little stuff I work with. Uh, on a daily basis here in this one so that's what I'm reaching over for and I got my caffeine free coffee for tonight because it's seven o'clock in the evening it's not good to drink coffee with caffeine because then I will fall asleep that's no problem but um, I usually don't sleep very well I wake up quite easy so. so let's see I actually have a glare I don't like that well I'm gonna have to work with it uh, I'm gonna do Q and Q is number 318 and I'm using the the Dereese containers which I like very much so so how are you guys doing have your week been fine have you been able to do some crafting, some diamond painting, or something else. <clears throat> Quite a few of you out there are coloring. Have you been doing that? I have started feeling very inspired to... Um, to um, do something else than just diamond paint. Um, <clears throat> I've been watching the watercolor videos. I'm following three uh, artists on YouTube who um, paint with uh, watercolor. <coughs> And I wish, I wish I could master that medium because that's the most beautiful uh, pictures, uh, in my opinion. Uh, so I've started watching those guys again and I actually did paint quite a bit f uh, a few years back. And... Um, feel 
inspired to give back to that and start again. So the 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 guys I'm following uh, are um, two of them have one technique. Uh, they're the guys are called Steve Cronin and Dave Usher, and they're uh, landscape painters, and they use um, the the hike. Uh, method so it's a special technique um, they use a two inch or is it yeah two inch brush um, and they only almost only use that one and um, paint landscapes with that and it's just so cool and Steve Cronin has a bit chaotic way of painting and the first time I saw him in the beginning I was like oh my god this cannot possibly become anything but when he's done with his painting it's so so beautiful um, and Dave Usher also uses the hike the hike brush but um he's not as uh, you know crazy and wild uh he uh takes it a bit <laughs> slower and stuff well uh you should take a look at the, their videos they're really awesome uh so that's the um, technique I enjoy as well. It's a technique I can not master, but um, I don't have to be good at sketching when doing that, uh, which you have to be if you're gonna paint like, it's another Steve, Steve Mitchell. His channel is called Mindful, Mindful Coloring, I think. And he's funny as well. Uh, he doesn't just do um, landscapes. He paints birds and buildings and flowers. And he's just freaking awesome. But yeah. <clears throat> so I'm actually thinking of not giving up on diamond painting, not at all, but maybe spend a day um, one day at least to try out something else and October is coming up and that means that Inktober, Ink October is also uh, coming up, <clears throat> and that's definitely all about sketching. So I've never ever got the courage to to try it out, but um, because I can't draw, I can't draw anything. But at the same time, if you don't try and if you don't practice, you know, you can never be good at anything, in my opinion anyway. So I actually, I'm thinking if I should do that. And <clears throat> if you don't know what Ink October is, no, not Ink October, it's Inktober. Mm, so you're gonna make a sketch with ink. Uh, one sketch every day for the whole month. So that's 31 days. 
And the guy who started this thing, he has, um, oh, shit. What, what do you call that? Wait, wait a second. It's called prompts. It's called prompts. So he has made a list already for this year of, uh, you know, like the theme you're going to sketch. You don't have to um, follow the prompt, but, um, um, I mean, you can just choose just to sketch and your, the rules are that you're, um, I'm looking at my phone here. So I don't say something which is not true. Yeah. So you make a drawing in ink. And you can, you know, use a pencil first. And then you post it and you use the hashtag uh, Inktober and Inktober 2019. And you do that every day. And I think that uh, it's really cool. Uh, Dee Dee Willingham. Uh, you know, Inkwell, she has done this, uh, uh, I watched her at least a couple of years when she's doing, um, uh, the Inktober. She's amazing. I don't think she, she doesn't follow the prompt, but, uh, she does, um, choose another subject. Yeah very annoying I didn't like that I have such glare in my canvas it's difficult to see but it says it's a new setup and a new room um, I will have to you know learn by doing yeah so, I have been working most of the week. I've worked all weekend as well. So, next week I'm only going to work Monday to Wednesday. Then I have um, some days off because I've been working weekends. Um, so my, I haven't done much this week other than working. Um, been diamond painting in the evenings, cooking a bit of dinner. Oh, and I started watching the, um, the 13 Reasons Why season three. It's out on Netflix. Ooh. I, oh, I love that uh, series. series. It's uh, very tragic, but uh, it's one of those, uh, it's, it's hard to, to stop in the evening. You want to take, you know, just keep watching the episodes, but you have to go to bed <laughs> and sleep. Yeah. So I'm doing <clears throat> much better now when I'm just back to my normal, normal job. Uh, it feels, um, yeah, it feels good knowing, almost knowing from day to day what's going to happen and, you know, uh, you feel safe and comfortable in that. So, um, yeah, I think I'm done with Q. Um... <clears throat> So I thought it, that I was, you know, going to have like 
like kind of recuperate emotionally but I'm one of those union representatives I think you call it and I don't know somehow I ended up getting crap from someone because I had missed something or yeah she just felt like stepping on someone and I was the one she chose and I just felt like I just I've had it with being treated like shit I'm, I'm done with feeling bad about work or at work I don't want that I don't I don't <clears throat> it seems like there's no glue there I, I saw that now huh yeah so now I feel like just had it you know I don't I don't want to do this anymore I just want to go to work come home take care of my family just find energy in crafts going for walks with my dogs together with my husband and that's that I don't need feel sad and not being enough or not being good enough in what I do so I think I actually have decided not to be re-elected as one of those representatives <clears throat> so but you know I spend you know most of my time at work and um, I like being there I like how people together can make the workplace a better place and it's important that we stand together and all this but um, yeah I'm not going to feel bad about it or be treated in a bad way because of it. Then I'm like, no, F you. Yeah, um, my daughter started her dance class this Wednesday. And she enjoyed that and then mommy is happy um, so the coming week she's gonna um, learn how to get the bus from school to her dance class and her grandma is going to help her uh, with that since me and my husband were working daytime this, this coming week. Um, yeah. And because I worked this weekend, I couldn't go to the Weight Watchers and weigh in. So I don't know how much I've gained because when I feel like I have felt the last couple of weeks I eat a lot so <clears throat> I need to uh, pull myself together and start planning what to eat and and all this 
And that's hard when you have um, been eating good things and chocolate and potato chips and pizza and sandwiches and oh Ben and Jerry ice cream the cinema cinnamon bun oh my lord yeah those things are not good for you they're very addictive No. Yeah, I got um, two new drill pens. I love them. Very nice. And um, I still get pain in my joint here. Um, but it's, it's not as bad as when I use the normal thin drill pens. So I'm, I'm very pleased. I hope my head is not sticking in too much here. Yeah, but um, back to Ink October, I, I hope more of you will join the challenge. You know, as I said, I cannot sketch. I, uh, I, I really, really, really want to learn how to draw birds and then paint them with water, watercolor like Steve Mitchell does. Um, but animals, it's not easy to make them look alive, you know? Um, so first I thought maybe I should, you know, try to dry, not dry, draw, uh, the same bird or birds every day. But the prompt, which, uh, this guy, what's his name? Who, who does Inktober? His name is, what's his name? Jake. What's his name? Oh, his name is Jake something. Oh, I'm so unprepared. <laughs> um. Oh well, never mind. Jake Parker, that's his name. Um, I like the prompt um, list. I will link. Um, I will link it below, uh, so you guys can take a look at it. So, and the thing is also, I would have to buy, you know paper and journals and ink pens and stuff and we all know that is fun to do that yes oh i really noticed that when i do these whipping chats i totally lose focus on the symbols Yeah. So what else have I done? I went shopping with my mom. I usually do that every week. Since uh, she doesn't have a car or a driver's license. Here's a pin. Yeah. 
Kitchen. I've been edit editing videos and making some unboxing videos. Enjoying myself. Yeah. Let's see. I will probably probably find another P. So, what do you guys think of the new artists that Diamond Art Club um, are releasing? It was uh, <coughs> Hannah Lynn and it was Nene Thomas. It's two of them, I know. I know them from, well, not personally, of course. I know their art. And I know it from... Heaven and Earth Club because I, I don't have any patterns with Hannah Lynn because uh, it's not my cup of tea um, but Nene Thomas I do quite a few actually but you know I think those diamond paintings has to be quite big to actually get that detail in so it's it's going to be very interesting to see um, how those finished uh, portraits are going to look like. Six, four, seven. I noticed I missed a little symbol there from before. Time to restart the camera. Yes. Well, yeah, um, I've been looking at the M Mandy Manzano's. Um, website web page and she has such a nice uh, picture there of uh, the red the lady in red was the one from uh, Game of Thrones the one who starts fire oh it's so nice I really hope they will chart that one Okay, let's do these small uh, flower thingies, 415. So, I'm starting feeling like I want to finish this Arya Stark now. So I can get my hands on some other diamond paintings. Start some others with colors you know and which are not so big i want to do something small and i want to do round drills not that i like rounds better th than square it's just uh, you know to do something else yes Um, let's see, there's one there. So, have any of you? Like uh, painted with watercolors before? Do you do it on your channel if you have a channel? Please leave a comment below. I would l really like to see. Or if you have an Instagram with pictures, I love I love watercolor. Uh, I actually think there is uh, what you call that. 
Ooh, I lost a word. Words, I lose them. Um, a vernissage. Well, there's someone here in town who's showing his watercolor paintings, and I feel like I think I really want to go. I get so jealous, though. I really. I would really like to master that. Yep, I guess I need to practice. But I mean, these people that they have painted like for all their life. I'm gonna um, continue answering these get to know me tags. Let's see if I can find them. Maybe I've thrown it away. It seems so. Why? Why? Silly me. There, I found it. <clears throat> I'm gonna try a new hobby. Surprise! <laughs> I'm going to... Um... I'm going to try paint by numbers. Yep. I've ordered a kit. Um, not too expensive. I think it cost like $20. And I'm going to do an unboxing. So I haven't, I haven't opened it yet and uh, take, taken a look at it. But I can't figure out or make up my mind if I should, you know, just do the unboxing and then one day when I feel like doing it, I will make a, a video, a whip and chat or something. Or if I should, you know, do like a bonus video where I open it up and just try it out right away. But I think that if you start painting, I don't think it's a good idea to stop. I think you need to at least finish that one color so it doesn't dry out. I think so. So I have to make sure that I, you know, <laughs> have the time for it. I don't, it would be sad if, you know, you know, you know, you paint just a little bit to try it out and then a week later it's dried up. So maybe I should do a paint by numbers in between two diamond painting projects, maybe. We'll see. But I'm looking forward to that too. That's that's something new. And I like paint. So I've never tried it before. Yeah, so the get to know me tags. I think I answered question number eight. One to eight last whip and chat. So I will start at question number nine. And then the question is, what is your favorite drink? And then I'm thinking, is it 
like a drink as an alcoholic drink or is it like just anything you drink because then it's coffee and if coffee doesn't count I drink I like cola zero I don't drink alcoholic drinks um, so sometimes I can take a beer but uh, I don't do that very often at all I'm uh, I've had so much bad and sad experience with um, that stuff. So I believe it's a better world without it, even though it tastes good. So coffee or cola zero. Question number 10. What is your spirit animal and why? spirit animal oh no 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 what am I doing I emptied <laughs> I emptied the drills in my trash can no no how could I do that shit that's not bad no that's no good <laughs> That is bad. Shit. Ah. Oh. Well, well. Um. Let's see. Where's my other tray? <clears throat> my spirit animal. Oh no. Uh I'm I'm thinking lion. But that's because I'm a Leo. Oh no. I know. It's the moose. Or Well, if I run out of uh, 415, then we know why. I'm so distra distracted. Um, no, I, I know. I know which animal it is. It's actually those... What is the name in English? I have to check my <laughs> cell phone again. You know, the language isn't that easy. Uh, no, not cookie. A jack draw? Is that the name? Hmm. A jack draw. Uh, in the winter? mostly in the winter. There are hundreds of them flying around and they make this pattern, this black cloud, which goes around in circles in the sky and I can watch them forever. That's my spirit animal. Yes. Yeah. God, I feel stupid. How could I empty it into my trash? Um, okay, question 11. You're wearing perfume. What scent is it? Well, there is only one perfume that I buy. I'm not a perfume person because 
I get migraines from strong scents. But I would use cool water. So it smells like water. Yeah. That's what I would wear. I'm just sorting these. And I didn't get them all, of course. Mm. Oh, yeah. So question 12 is tea or coffee? And, you know, I've already answered that. It's coffee. I drink it from morning to evening uh, I do like tea I do mm, but I I need some of that uh, not sugar but a sweet sweetener sweetener stevia in it um, but I do prefer coffee of course I don't know. My trash. I think there's quite a few of those in there. I think you would say, forget about it. Forget about it. Yes. I will forget about it. And hope I got a lot of extras. <laughs> yep, I've got the right container now. Question 13, what are your life goals? Oh, I'm too old for having those goals. I just want to make sure my daughter grows up and Make sure she ends up in a good place, you know, get her education and a place to stay and, you know, give her the support she needs. That's my goal in life. I have 10 minutes left. 14. What sports do you play or have you played? I have never played any sport. What shall I take? No, I will do A. And A is 3024. Um sports I did karate when I was young but I'd never competed in it um, I played uh, indoor football when I was a bit older but you know it wasn't it was just for fun but my favorite sport is ice hockey and long distance biking and running. And yes, of course, I have run. I've uh, done those uh, half, half marathons and stuff, but no competing, just for fun. I cannot ima I can't believe that I poured my drills into the trash on camera. <laughs> uh, 
Question 15. Have any books you read changed your life? Oh, no. No, I don't think it has. But books have been a great part of my life. It was a great place to run away to, lose yourself into, you know. I still, still are. I wish I read more, but I do listen a lot to books. But no, they haven't changed me in any way. It changed my opinion and how about maybe of the person who wrote the book or you know for the better often yeah Question 16. What is your favorite movie? I cannot choose. I don't have one favorite. I have a couple actually. Um, Dirty Dancing. Titanic. Alien, um, you have the Twilight Saga, Hunger Games, Harry Potter, oh my god, Harry Potter, of course, and um, which one was I thinking about, um, yeah, Everest, it's a good movie, and Wild, Lost in the Woods. Very difficult to choose one. But yeah, maybe Dirty Dancing is the one I like the most. I think maybe. Maybe, maybe. Do we have time for another question? Yes, we do. That glare is killing me. Um, question 17. Who are your favorite YouTubers? I'm like following over a hundred <laughs> YouTubers. Um, there's a few in the diamond painting society and I have a couple in the coloring society coloring yeah and the watercoloring and then I have a couple of favorites in hiking those are like the biggest uh, it's like yeah creators crafters and hiking and painters. Um, but I think I would say that Dee Dee Willingham is my absolute favorite YouTuber. Um, and Watercolor, the uh, Steve Mitchell, Mindful Wonder, uh, Mindful, uh, Jesus, I will link, I will link them below. And um, of the Diamond Painters, I, I would say Rachel Ray, I'm a patron to her. 
so those three. Oh, and uh, in hiking, it's uh, homemade wanderlust with the Dixie and Second Chance. Yeah, I think those are my absolute favorites. So uh, those are the people I can just watch over and over or listen to and I you know get a good laugh and I learn and get inspired and that's important I mean that's why we have our creators right and that is what I would like to do too inspire Ace. I don't see any more A's. I'm sure there are some, some still. Yeah. Now, let's pour it in the right container. This is the one. Um. Yes, last question. Number 18. Do you speak any languages and how well? Speak Swedish, English, and Danish. And Swedish is, is my mother language, so I speak that the best. And English and Danish, well, I'm not very bad at it, but, you know, it's okay. I could be a lot better in both languages. Mm, I would like to learn French and Spanish. That will be in another lifetime, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't think I'm going to finish this today. But um, tomorrow I will finish it, for sure. Uh, last question, number 19. Am I single or taking? Taken. I'm taken. I'm married and have been for over 10 years. Almost 11 now. So that's awesome. And how we met, I will tell you in another s video. Yeah, so that's all for today. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit that, that subscribe button. Because then I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.